Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at the Zidu players. So this applies to any Zidu player. I personally have the Zidu Z9X, but this applies to the Z9X Pro as well as all of their other range that they produce at the moment as well. Somebody's already left a comment on one of my Zidu videos. I was gonna make this video for you guys anyway, because something that's happened recently is the TMDB link that actually finds all of your artwork and matches your movies to the actual titles has broken so regardless of which Zidu player you have for some reason it wasn't being able to match new movies and actually pull all of the information for you so in this video I'm going to tell you how to get around that so firstly the issue isn't to do with the boxes themselves so it's not to do with the firmware you don't need to be resetting the box anything like that it's to do with home theater itself so just the application itself on my particular one it's labeled as poster wall but essentially the app is called home theater so as you can see home theater version 5.0 now originally i didn't actually have 5.0 i had a previous version i think it was like 4.5 4.8 something like that and that was the one that was experiencing the issues so if we go into it and we come into this section here where it matches your information the tv shows was working fine the movie collections that i've got they were also working fine but any new movies that i was adding it wasn't being able to scan them so every single one would come up as unmatched and even if you went in manually and tried to match these they would it wouldn't work it wouldn't be able to actually find that information so the fix is relatively simple I'll have three links in the description below depending on what firmware your box uses you'll need to install the relevant updated home theater so essentially what Zidu have done is they've patched the current home theater app APKs or the applications and they've released uh, an update in time they have advised that they will be doing an over-the-air update but anybody with the Zidu box will know that over-the-air updates on these generally don't work anyway so if you come to update and you click on online update it always just says it's up to date. Fair enough that one is for the firmware itself but it's been the same for home theater as well. So I'll have links in the description below just go and download. I believe there'll be three in the description and depending on what firmware your box uses you can just click on the relevant one and install it. Now the way I always do APK installs personally is I use the web install. So rather than putting them onto a USB stick and on having to unzip them make sure that the, far, the USB stick is FAT32 and all the rest of it. What I do is I just download it to my phone I go to web installation and then just at the bottom there you can see it's got a uh, URL you just put that into your browser window you navigate to wherever you've saved the file so in my case it will be the downloads of my phone and once you click it it'll start installing now it gets to 99% and then it just kind of disappears now what I also did was I also came to clear manager it came into this and I basically cleared everything so I did that for tasks I did it for cash and I did it for a APKs as well. Once you've done that, if you exit out and the next time you launch home theater or post wall in my case, it'll go through the full installation and it will install the new application. If when you're launching the application it's not installing, then just go back and clear the cache so then it knows to look for the new APK file. Once it's installed, as you can see, I've tested it with a few new titles that have just been released and every single one of these has matched without me having to do anything manually. There was a workaround which was using the TMM app, the Tiny Movie Management, and that's basically where you were manually pulling all the information. Now, yes, that method works, but it's a lot of work and every single time you download a new movie or you add any content you would have to run that application again which obviously it defeats the purpose of having one of these players because the whole point of these is that it does everything for you. Now going forward as I mentioned Zidu are aware of the issue so in theory any new devices that are released should already have the updated app in them if not then you can just follow this video and do the same thing and it will get get the player working again. Now in terms of the updated version if you go back to some of my previous videos you will notice that these icons are slightly different so the look of this is slightly different and also once you actually come into anything all of these icons once it populates along the bottom just here these look slightly different and even the the actual poster 
background and stuff like that, it looks slightly different. If anything, I would say it actually looks slightly better than it did before. It looks a little bit more polished, but that's the only thing that I've noticed. I have tested it with a few movies that I had and everything seems to work fine, regardless of whether it's 5.1, 7.1, audio, all the rest of it, Dolby Vision, I tested, I tested HDR as well as SDR content as well. And everything seems to play perfectly fine for me. Others have complained that they're getting stuttery playback now, I don't think that's going to be related to the actual update itself. Um, as long as you're installing a legit version of home theater and not a patched version or something like that, something that somebody's created, then it should just work fine for you. I've not had any issues, but if you do have any issues, then as I said, this is just in the meantime and just in case it breaks in the future. But hopefully Zidu should patch this and put out a, a proper update in time anyway. As always, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with any sort of issues that might come up like this. And also for this particular one, I really need you guys to like and share this video so then others become aware of it. Most people's first port of call will be YouTube. They'll go on YouTube and see if there's a fix for it. So that's why I need you guys to share this as far and wide as you can so then others do become aware of it. And similarly going forward, if I do come across any little quirks or, or niggles, I'll just post a video on my channel so then somebody's always got a reference point for any of the issues that might arise.